There's so many new cards! Chat! We're having a whole expansion dropped on us in one day. We have 69 cards to go over. Shall we dive in? Shall we start? We're gonna start with our AA Trox, the um, champion. I think that most people are excited for, for um, this current expansion. He's a six cost, Darken. His origin is World Ender, which is you may put any non-champion Darken into your deck during non-champion. They had to specify that. <laughs> non-champion Darken into your deck during deck building. Once you've played or summoned three plus different other Darken, draw an Aatrox. Nice. So you auto-equip the Darken Blade and when you're summoned or strike, you heal your Nexus too. This is like Kane in um, Path, except you don't have to kill him, you just have to strike. You create a World Ender in hand if you don't have one. Level up, you've played World Ender. Um, the Darken Blade is plus one, plus one. Sorry, my thing. Plus one, plus one, and regeneration. Nice. I like that. So he's basically six cost six, six, because you auto equip one, one on him and he gets regen. I like that. I like that. The World Ender is a 13 cost spell? 666 El Diablo. It is 13 cost? Reduce my cost by one for each time an equipped or darkened ally has struck this game. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, it has to have some sort of discount because 13 is just 13 is just too much. So what was that again? Sorry. When I'm summoned or strike, heal your Nexus 2 and create a world ender in hand if you don't have one. Sheesh. There's so much. <laughs> Clearly I, I didn't make this one properly. I have a white line down here. <laughs> Whoopsies. Um, this is what happens when you don't double check your PowerPoint. Um, Aatrox level two is six cost nine, nine? <laughs> Hold on chat. Aatrox is my champion. <laughs> He's a 6-9. <laughs> Actually, he's gonna be 10, because the plus one plus one. Sad. He should have been base 8, so it could be 6-9. Oh well. Uh, Auto-equip the, the blade. Darken allies cost 5 less. Wait, how does he level up? I'm so sorry. You played World Ender, so you played this spell. You get him to level up. When I'm summoned or strike, heal the Nexus too. All your Darken allies cost 2 less? Sorry, 5 less, and you heal 2. Okay. This is gonna be a great. <laughs> this is gonna be a great, <laughs> great card reveal. I'm off to a fantastic start. Um, Aatrox spell, three cost, fast speed. Um, Aatrox and an enemy strike each other. Create a another spell in hand. Create an Aatrox in your deck. Nice card art. Fantastic in this this whole one. The card art is phenomenal. Uh, you create this card, which is two costs, fast. Oh my, it's like his, it's like his ability. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, Aatrox and the enemy strike each other. Uh, fleeting. Okay. Two costs, fleeting. So this one is three, two, and then you create a Deathbringer Descent in the hand, and that's, it's, the artwork is so good. The artwork is so fantastic. Uh, still fleeting. Um, one cost this time, and then you strike an enemy again. That's, uh, I mean, this is six mana of strikes, but also, like, level one Aatrox is six health. Cheesh. I don't know. I don't know. You're gonna kill your own Aatrox by playing all of these. But then level 2 is 10 health. Interesting. I love how they incorporated his ability though. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, we're gonna move on. It's two-sided. It's two-sided. Yeah. They strike each other. All of them are strike each other. Counters Vengeance. Counters a bunch of stuff, yeah, I could see that, okay. And like, kill for killing spells. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, Rise, 
another Runeterran champ, four costs. Same as single combat. Yeah, same concept. Runeterran champ, four cost, three, five. Origin is the rune mage. You may put any non-targeted burst or focus spells into your deck during deck building. At the start of the game, create two delve into the past. That's when he's summoned or round start. Create two delve in the past in your deck. Oh. It creates another strike after you declare it, I mean. So you can strike again after they kill your Aatrox. But you wouldn't have an Aatrox to swing for the strike if your Aatrox is dead. <laughs> This is, it's not a strike for anything, it's specifically Aatrox. Well. Um, his level up is I see three plus unique world runes. Mini morph. <laughs> Bro. Doesn't it create it on play? I don't know what you're talking about, Billy. <laughs> like, you play this and you get this from playing it, yes. But like, you said you can play this card after Aatrox is dead, but you have to target Aatrox for this. So you can strike again after the- Oh, after they try! Yes, after they try to kill your Aatrox, you can use the spell. I'm so sorry. It would help if I read. <laughs> it would help if I read. I thought you said after your Aatrox is dead. I'm like, no, your Aatrox needs to swing. My bad. Um, any non-targeted burst and focus. Look at rise and spells. It's so good. It's so good. And then delve into the past is a two-cost burst speed. Choose one of two world ruins you don't have in play or in hand and create it in hand. If you can't, you draw one instead. Sheesh. And then he needs three to level up. So your options are Shard of Madness, which is two costs, a two cost landmark. When I'm played, if I'm unique, activate all other world runes. When I'm played or activated, create a rune prison in hand. Or if you have one, reduce its cost by two. What's the whole origin? His origin is this card. You may put any non-targeted burst or focus spells into your deck during deck building. And then at the start of the game, create two delve into the past in your deck for each rise that started the game. It's like bard kind of with the chimes, except it's delve, it's this card that you get. And then this card gets you an option of two of different landmarks. And we're going to go over the landmarks. Um, I assume they're all going to be two costs since the first one is two costs. And then this card creates Rune Prison or reduces it if you already have it. And Rune Prison is a two cost fast spell that stuns an attacking enemy. Oh, nice. And it looks like, bro, I love, I, I love this game. I love League. I love Runeterra. I just love everything. <laughs> uh, the next landmark, two cost again. Okay. Uh, when I'm played, if I'm unique, activate all other world runes, and when I'm played or activated, deal two to the weakest enemy. Shush, Corey, I didn't say anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Not Aram. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, this is the skill associated with that, so it is, like, um, interactable, I guess. On stack, whatever. Deal two to the weakest enemy. Nice little artwork. Cute. Looks like the ability. <gasps> I just realized, isn't this Viego and his wife, like, as humans? <laughs> I was making this earlier, I thought it was Tark. I'm like, who is Tark carrying? <laughs> Wait! I love this! Okay. <clears throat> um, another two cost line mark, Shard of Hope. When I'm played, if I- okay, this whole, uh, you know, unique activated thing. When I'm played or activated, heal allied rises and your nexus too. More health. Wait, have we seen level two? I'm like, imagine knowing your own order. Okay, level one is three five, so cheeky little heal for him as he tried to. Oh, she was dead though, so he's carrying a dead body right there. Sheesh. You can play every Telstone with Rise. Oh my God. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, 
Shard of Reverence is two cost as well. Uh, when I'm played or activated, refill two spell mana. Eh. Meh. <laughs> Another error. I did not- I'm sorry, I did not go through this before I, um, you know, started going through- yeah. You know, this is why you preview things that you work on. Shard of Violence, uh, when I'm played or activated, draw one. Nice little draw mechanic. Okay, so you need to do three of these to level up Rise, and then Rise becomes... Spell shield. <laughs> uh, four cost, four, six when I'm summoned or round start. Create two of those in here. Attack, activate all of them. Oh. If you have five unique world runes, destroy the enemy nexus. Yeah, those are landmarks. All these are landmarks. The shards ones, they're all two cost landmarks that you get from Delves. Sheesh. It's- I see three plus unique world runes. Exodia's looking different? Bro, honestly! Okay, I have a question though. So does activate all of your world runes, does that mean at any point, like, you've done five? Like, once you hit the fifth one, you just- just GG, Nexus deleted? Or attack. Activate all of your world runes. If you have five unique world runes, destroy the enemy. Like, does that mean I have to have all five on the board? And when it's activated on that one attack, so I have to have all five of them and basically rise attacking? Yes, all five. That's absurd. Yeah, I think the idea is to have a spell deck. Sheesh. So it can't stack. Yikes. Okay. Rise's spell is a warp. Rise's realm warp. Discard. Wait, sorry. Draw three. Discard any followers drawn. Create a rise in your deck. It's three cost burst. Exodia! <laughs> Basically, just don't don't fill your deck with followers because you're gonna get rid of them anyways. <laughs> Rise wants zero follower help. He's spell oriented only. <laughs> I like it. I like it. First off, his artwork is fantastic. Like, just look at that. This is so good. And then I like the spell shield. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then the Exodia possibility. Sheesh. Our final champion is gonna be Kale. Um, she is in Targon. She is six cost and she is two six. Kale, I have plus one plus zero for each time an ally attacked with increased power. Oh, nice. Play her with buffs. W. Love that. <laughs> when I'm summoned, grant uh grant other allies plus one. Mm. And she's six cost, so like you could have a full board by the time, by the time, final champion is Zolani. Wait, what? Is that a joke? <laughs> um. So many. Is it? I'm. I don't know. You guys are ahead of me. I don't know. We have empowered. Hold on. I'm gonna check Twitter one last time. <laughs> whatever empowered. When you get to six of it or whatever, she gets quick attack. It's probably like what you've empowered your champions. You've empowered allies this game. I don't know. I don't know what empowered is. Rune Terra has not told us what it is. It's something. <laughs> it's something and that when you do it six times, when you empowered six times, you Kale gets quick attack. It means she has. It means she has. She have six attack. Oh, when you when you get her to six power, she gets quick attack. Empowered is that you have that much attack. Wow. 
Okay. I was thinking it was like not relevant to your power. I was thinking it was like you have to empower six times. <laughs> Increase attack stats up to six or 13. It was 13. Where are you getting 13 from? <laughs> Increase power to certain amount. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. She comes down with three units on the board. She auto levels. Um. You need. Uh, oh. No. Level is. Round start. I have 11 power. So you, she could empower. Yeah. Level 6, level 13. There are. Uh, Sixteen? Is this what you're talking about? I don't know why you guys are talking about thirteen. <laughs> Sorry, sixteen? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so plus one for each time an ally attacks. So you want to play her with a full board. And then when I'm summoned, grant them. So you're going to have plus five off rip. Sheesh. 13 plus 3 equals 16, though, so maths. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure. But uh, how often are you going to play your base kale line? <laughs> how often? I mean, I guess if she, your other kale dies, you play her from the beginning. Sheesh. Okay. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. But if you empower her to 16, she gets double attack and she has overwhelm. Wait, she just baseline has quick attack and overwhelm and then you empower her to 16 and she gets double attack. <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. I, I, I love her so much. I like I like um, double attack personally as a mechanic and, and they don't really have a lot in there. Empowered 16 in the game, basically. They missed the opportunity to make another level 3 champ. Isn't level 3 champ exclusive to Shurima though? And like, those gods? Until you get stunned. <laughs> Stuns don't exist! Stun free attack! Free attack has taught us that there is no value in running stuns. So, so, yeah. Who says so? Just the previous fact that our only three level champions are the ascended ones from Shurima. <laughs> Hi, Armand! Okay. Uh, Kale's Divine Judgment is her spell. Six cost, Targon. This is also main deckable. Um, burst speed. Give an ally, I can't take damage. <laughs> Hi, Lazy. Thank Hi, you. Rolly. Thank you for the resub. Um, give allies plus one this round or create a Kale. Or, sorry. <laughs> create a Kale in deck. So you give one ally protection and then all of your allies on the board for that round is plus one. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know since when Kale be buffing people as attack like that, but you know, sure. Fine. <laughs> I don't play her. 